While he was walking in a beautiful Polish forest, this man saw something very rare. He saw something strange among the bison. When he looked through the telescope, he couldn't believe what he saw. Was this a bison species he hadn't encountered yet? Or is it something else entirely? As he started getting closer and closer to the herd, he finally recognized what it was. He mistook it for a red bison, but in reality it was something more unexpected. Strange Bison Deep in Poland's dreamy Bialoica forest, a herd of bison seems to have a strange guest. The man who spotted this strange combination of animals was Adam Spillett, who couldn't believe his eyes as he walked through the forest. Adam is an ornithologist. An ornithologist is someone who specializes in the study of different species of birds and their behavior. He had seen some special things in his life, but this one was very unique. He found a herd of wild bison. He had never seen a red bison in his life, and now he stumbled upon one of them. He began to squint his eyes, blinking multiple times. Maybe he made a mistake looking through the binoculars. As he got a little closer to the herd, he saw that the red bison was not actually a red bison, but a regular brown cow. The cow is peacefully eating the last grass that has survived the snow around the animals. This means animals can roam freely in the forest without human interference. The bison living there can do whatever they want. At some point, some captive buffalo were released into the wild. Bison were reintroduced to maintain wild populations. This happened in the same forest where another bison met a cow. Normally, cows don't roam the forest and live a free life. They are not considered wild animals and are mostly kept by humans. A cow living with a family of bison is an extraordinary thing. The cow is a French breed called Lemacy. Bison, breeders and owners of Polish forests usually do not allow any strangers to approach their families. But this cow wandered among them as if it were part of the herd. The biggest question that comes to your mind right now is, where did it come from? It turned out that the cow was part of a nearby farm. The owner is feeding the cow for later slaughter. The cow had other plans for the future, so the cow decided it should run away. The cow seemed to inspire some of its friends as they also decided to run away. Unfortunately, they were quickly caught by farmers. As it turns out, Red Bull is the smartest of them all. At this time, it encountered a group of bison. It decided to hide among the bison. Perhaps, the bison senses that the cow is distressed by what has happened to it or what is about to happen to it. This led them to treat the cow as a new addition to the family, or at least let it roam around them. When the cow was found, the farmers wanted their cow back. They enlisted the help of some local rangers, but they were unable to separate the cattle from the bison herd. The bison protect the cattle and it looks like they did let the cattle into their family. Bison look like harmless animals from a distance, but they're pretty strong, and you won't want to fight them. They have some big horns on their heads and they can use them to do real damage. According to Dr. Rafael Kavakic, director of the Institute of Mammals at the Polish Academy of Sciences and a leading expert on bison, the cow has not yet fully integrated into the herd. Doctors believe the bison may have rescued the cow from wolves that usually winter in the forest. The Red Bull lived in the herd for several months and she became a celebrity. Her story has made the news and newspapers. The cow's rancher is already waiting for visitors to come and see this special Red Bull among bison. The Red Bull was eventually caught and brought back to the farm where it will spend the rest of its life. After it desperately tried to avoid a future as human food, farmers decided not to slaughter it. Even if the farmer decides to slaughter the cow, there will be a public backlash. Another question that might come to your mind is, is it necessary to capture the cow and bring it back to the farm? Scientists seem to fear she might be pregnant. The hybrid that will be born is called Zubrin in Poland, and in North America, a hybrid of American bison and cattle is called a catalog. A problem that can arise during this potential pregnancy is that the calf may be too large. This means that the cow will not be able to give birth to a calf and will eventually die. So in order to really save the cow's life, she was brought back to the farm and they let her live in peace, 
or as much as possible, because she had become quite the landmark. Not only animals can live among different species, humans can also be raised or live among other creatures, but this is very rare. In this story, a girl grows up with gorillas and returns to them 12 years later. Gorillas are now an endangered species. They are on the verge of extinction and this is due to human activities. Many tourists go to these parks to see gorillas, but they need to be careful as these animals can be unpredictable. An adult gorilla is stronger than any human being on earth. Damien Aspinall and his daughter Tansy travel to Africa to track a pair of gorillas. She was there for him as he prepared Joelta and Bins for life in their natural environment. The gorillas were born at Howlett Wildlife Park in Kent. Tansy loved playing in the animal enclosure, and the gorillas would come and hug her and her father. They will play with gorillas all day long. Her father let her play with gorillas when she was 18 months old. The gorillas Tansy used to play with were also children, and they even wore diapers. Eventually, Giolta and Bins were released in the African bush when Tansy was 11 years old. Twelve years later, Tansy and her father came to Africa to visit Bins again. They are cautious because it is difficult to predict how these now wild gorillas will react to people. When Tansy and her father found Bins, she took a selfie with the gorilla. Bins never forgot Tansy, he definitely recognized her, he even gave her a hug. Tansy now has his own jewelry company, and the gorillas talk a lot. She also maintains the work of the family foundation. Growing up around wild animals, Tansy and her father both fell in love with them, and their foundation preserves many of them. When he got stuck in a tree, a gorilla came and helped him down from the tree, made him climb on her back, and carried him to the ground. He got a little scared, but the gorilla wiped his tears and calmed him down. The two gorillas he works with are Joelta and Bins, whom he introduced to his daughter when she was just a year old. In 2016, Damien returned to Africa again to look for gorillas and see how they were doing. This time, he took his wife with him. Damien and his wife approach land. Damien first went to see if the gorilla would be nice to his wife. Since he had learned from the behavior of the gorillas their friendliness, he told his wife that she was safe ashore. After his wife came ashore, the gorillas let out a growl that convinced Damien they would be friendly to her. His wife began to get closer to the gorillas as they eventually gave her a warm welcome hug. Although gorillas are very dangerous animals, it is possible for them to bond with humans under certain circumstances. Nature works in mysterious ways. It's a beautiful sight when animals of different species come together and treat each other as if they were human. What do you think of these connections? Let us know in the comments.